Hi. Hi, this is Keith Larson with Spot On Homes. Today, let's have a word on surveys. If you're buying or selling your home or your property, you're going to have to deal with the survey issue. Now, what is a survey? All a survey is is a drawing done by a professional surveyor that calls out the boundaries of the property. If you're in the city, it's lot and block, and you know here's the lot dimensions. If you're in the country, it's called meets and bounds, but basically, it defines the boundaries of the property. It'll also show any encroachments, like did your neighbor build a fence that's over your line, or does he have a shed hanging over your line? Uh, is there a pipeline through the backyard? You know, all those sorts of things, along with access. You know, if somebody has a uh, easement, for example, they could maybe have the right to drive across your property to get to theirs, for example. Or you may have power line easements, water line easements. Survey is going to show all those things that you're going to want to know as a buyer. So, who pays for the survey? Well, it's very negotiable in Texas contracts. The best ideal thing is for the seller to provide the existing survey and if it's acceptable to the lender and the title company, everybody wins. You move your contract along and it's a great service to the buyer for you to provide that. It saves him money, makes your property much easier to sell versus the guy down the street who won't do it or doesn't have a survey. Of course, the buyer can have his own survey, and sometimes that's a very good thing to do. It just depends, and you need to talk to your agent about, you know, if it makes sense for you. Now, something that's very important is the T-47. What is that? T-47 is nothing more than an affidavit that the seller has notarized that says, I haven't done anything since the date of, of the survey that I'm giving you. Now, that could be anything from a fence, a gate, put up a shed, you know, whatever it is. So he either hasn't done anything or he has done those things and you have to note them. Uh, normally, that if there's nothing weird, it'll be acceptable to the title company and the lender and on you go. Now, here's the important part. If you don't get that T-47 in the survey to the buyer in the prescribed time in the contract, you just lost. What that means is the buyer can go have his own survey done, you're going to pay for it. So it's very important, uh, give with your agent, get enough time to get those things done. And uh, if you do that, it's no big deal and you move on down the road to closing. Hope this has been informative. Hope I see you down the road buying or selling a piece of property. And make it a great day in real estate.